So we're here with, with Nate Rob, Seattle's own. Um, he, you were at the Sonics rally, you know, you've seen the support, four or 5,000 strong. You know, what does it mean to you, growing up in Seattle, seeing the Sonics, to have a chance for the arena to get back and the steps that we got to take to be able to get it here? I mean, for me, it means the world to me, man. Like, honestly, like, growing up, you know, attending Gary Payton's little basketball camps that he had yeah. down at Rainier Beach and, you know, Sean Kim's camps and stuff like that. We, for us as kids, man, those are great memories, man. And then watching the Sonics, what they did over the years, the alley hoops from, from GP to, to the Rain Man. Yeah. You got Big Sam Perkins knocking down threes, big lefty, you know what I'm saying? Like that, that plays, you know, a, a, like a replay in your mind over and over for many, many years. And then not to have a team here is like, like what the heck? Yeah, you know exactly. what I'm saying? And then we got a lot of fan base here, a lot of, a lot of love from local, you know, local people. You know, cats like myself, Jamal. I know, you know, the guys like Aaron Brooks, uh, B-Roy would love to come home and play in front of our home crowd. So uh, just being down at the rally was a, you know, was a, was a great feeling. It was a blessing again to see all these wonderful fans that really, you know, pay homage to the Sonics, man, you know, and we, and we need them back. Definitely. And the, the second thing is, is we, we talked with Jamal and, um, and we mentioned about how last summer there was a blow up. I and mean, of course, it's, it's to probably a big part of it is the lockout with all the programs across the country that's just popping up. We got DC, we got Drew League. And, yeah. Uh, he talked about there's a possibility of LA against Seattle. Uh, battle of competition of. Uh, Pro-Ams, what's, what's your take on that? What's your thoughts on that? Uh, I mean, they need to make that happen. That'd be awesome for yeah. I mean, you know, just a, you know, just for basketball itself, but, uh, you know, just putting Seattle, uh, you know, you know, pretty much back on the map and letting them know that, yo, like, you know, we here playing with the best of them. Yeah. No matter if it's L.A., we play in New York, Texas, or whoever, you know what I'm saying, yeah, whoever yeah. want to step up and play. You know, we'll be more than, you know, more than happy to play in a game like that. And, uh, you know, just to see some of the greats that probably come out of L.A. And, and play, I mean, it'll be, it'll be, it'll be bananas. It'll yeah. be bananas. I, I know a lot of people will, will, will pay to see that, you know, pay, you know, pay to see that, that game. That'll be pretty awesome. Yeah. Make that ASAP. So I said the starting lineup was you, Isaiah, B-Roy, uh, Brockman, and Halls. Uh, I'll probably go, I'll probably go Halls. Our big halls. Uh, by Marvin Williams. Then you go B. Roy, Maul, and J. T. And then bring everybody else off the bench. I can bring everybody else to bench. Martell, me, I. T. Dominic Collison, he's been here long enough. Yeah. <laughs> Get his ass in here. Here with uh, soon to be free agent Jamal Crawford at the week two of the Jamal Crawford Pro Am League. We got the Spokane Hoop Fest coming up. Uh, talk about that. Yeah, I'm very excited about it. Uh, it's great really, though. My charity game, Classic, and I'm partnered with A Plus, the youth, uh, youth program. And, you know, I wanted to have it in Seattle. We had one in Seattle last year, we said, you know what, Spokane has their own fan base already and they don't get a chance to see a lot of pros, so for us, we want to take the game over there, you know, and uh, the food for us is 100,000 people, you know, walking around, a lot of the other families and everything, and we wanted to give them another option, something to do, you know, after they're not playing, something to take their family, their friends to, it'll be a kid-friendly event, uh, a lot of superstars come to town, John Wall, Brandon Jennings, Clay Thompson, and, Austin today, Isaiah Thomas, Nate Robinson, there's so many different guys. I don't want to forget anybody in disrespect to them. But bring a lot of pros to, to the Spokane Arena on June 30th. All the kids in the eight plus program. That's great. All right. You guys heard it first. Be in Spokane for the Hoop Fest and the Jamal Crawford 8 Plus Foundation.